Zoisha. Hey guys, so welcome to Thursday. It's Thursday, one more day of work. Jeez. Anyways, I was supposed to, I actually came home with the intent to work on this order because I knew it was getting picked up tomorrow. But the lady apparently is telling me she is not going to be able to pick it up tomorrow because um she's going to be working oh she's going to be working um <clears throat> till midnight and she needs it i guess for the party on saturday so she was like can i come at seven o'clock mind you it's 602 and this is what the order looks like <laughs> they're not assembled nothing but as i said i said i came home today with the intent that this is what i was going to complete so yeah i'm just gonna do it she wanted to come for seven o'clock but it's gonna take me probably not an hour but i want to take my product pictures and stuff like that so i don't want to rush it um and i don't even think i have a box i can package it in but um battery's gonna die so yeah people i just wanted to share that with you guys that this is what i'm doing be back so guys one hour later finished finished the order I had printed everything from like Monday um, so yeah I am heading to the dollar store because I got to pick up some stuff for another order that I have coming up in like the next two weeks but I want to get started on the stuff early because she wants to get certain parts of the order a lot earlier to um, do whatever it is that she needs to do so I kind of want to go get the stuff because I did see at one of the locations the color that I need is gonna be very limited so I want to see if this other dollar store has some so I can pick up some from there and then if I have to come back over to the one that's closer to me and grab the rest of them and then probably pick up something to eat so hopefully I'm home within like the next hour before this lady comes and picks up this order everything worked out for me and then I can come home and finish editing and make the video render so that when I leave out in the morning time I can put it up to upload on YouTube so that by the time I get home I can make it public and this video can go live which is my Thanksgiving video and I'm not that late because Thanksgiving was excuse me last week so you know yeah whatever anyways people i am gonna go do that i'm gonna go on the road and when i come back in if i am successful i will let you guys know okay and i not carry on the road because it's cold raining and it just made a sense one bugger, bugger, bugger thing and i'm on a time crunch because as i said i gotta come meet this lady so she can come pick up her order and i hope she sends me my next half of my monies because if not <laughs> there won't be any exchange okay don't ramp over ya when it come on to money. Me no ramp when it come on to money, you know. Me don't ramp when it come on to money. If I have my money, give me my money. Yeah, mm, yar, yar. Good morning, good morning, guys. Listen, y'all just gonna have to deal, cause okay. <laughs> Shit. And welcome to another week with Zoe. If this is your first time here on my channel, please subscribe. I promise you will like it. You will want to come back and see what your girl is up to. If you are returning because you already live here, make sure your notifications are on so that you don't miss another video from me, okay? If I'm not here on YouTube, please be sure to look into the description box for more details on how you can stay connected with me through my other social media outlets. And now that we've got all the fandangles and everything like that out of the way, let us get on right into the vlog. So it is Sunday. The time right now is about... It's 10.30. And I am right outside of a Starbucks. Look a bit better. Um, so yeah, I'm outside of Starbucks right now. Just got me a caramel ribbon crunch. Yeah, this was my drink from I got back. This I've been oof, baby. Caramel is basically a caramel frappuccino, but just crunchy. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Ooh, the paper straw is not helping. With the taste of everything but baby mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i also got this um cubano panini it's honey ham swiss cheese uh 
Um, I don't know what else. Honey ham, Swiss cheese. Sorry, y'all. Ooh, there's a dill pickle. something else there's some other sauce i can't remember what it's called like a spicy something sauce but try this for y'all too I don't know what it's really supposed to be giving, but whatever it's supposed to be giving, I guess it's giving that. I'm on the roll. Make sure that cools down a little bit. I'm on the roll, getting some stuff done for work. I just had to pick up some shirts for an order. Why are you watching me, sir? You want to be in the vlog? Anyway. There's something on my nose. Anyways, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Zoisha. And yeah, welcome back. <laughs> Anyways, it's Tuesday. Mama, people. Me? I get well. I don't know anything. I don't know the days of the week, month, year, nothing. But anyways, it's Monday. Just got in from work not too long ago. About to wind down. I ain't got nothing to do today. I'm going to start editing, actually. Um got a package that i wanted to share with you guys that's all that this clip is going to be about is this huge ass package that i just got i'm super excited all right guys unbox it so recently i was online looking for some shoes you guys because if y'all ain't know i had a previous ankle history Something wrong with me, seriously. I had a previous ankle surgery, so all of my heels that I used to own, I can no longer wear. So, yeah, I want to get into heels again um, that I can manage. So, I went on Shop Akira and they had a lot of heels on sale. I've always gone to their website, but I've never ended up taking anything. And I'm so excited, but I got one outfit. I'll show this to you guys, even though you guys will probably see it on later on. Because I'm planning on going away for my birthday. Okay, really, really stretchy. I was worried. I was worried. What the fuck? I already did two shirts. Don't get to But I got one of these. Just a little. Show on, show on, Sinan. You know what I mean? I think everything that I purchased in here was $20 or less. The tag says $39.99, but I know damn well I was not going to spend $39.99 on this. No offense, but yeah. So, I'll try it on for you guys later on in a haul, depending on if I get to go away for my birthday like I planned. Um, okay, so I got one, two, three. Three, four, five. Hold on, people. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, six pairs of shoes. Jesus! Okay, and I'm gonna show these to you guys. Ooh, these are the ones I wanted to see! I'm gonna show these to you guys in the haul like more properly. So I gotta wear like kitten heels like these. It heels like these, right? But I feel like they can still, you know, be cute or whatever. So this is a tie up, tie up one. Yeah, yeah, this we can't wear. Like them, yeah? We can't wear. Ross, Ross, Ross. We can't just stay still, brother. Paper, the boots. I love. Where's my mirror? 
Yo, the one thing I remember about heels, baby, those shits hurt. Hurt in our ass. Especially ones like these that are like tongue. I mean tongue. Okay, these are mad comfortable. Don't mind my toes either, my nail lady wasn't in. So yeah, love these. Absolutely love these. Cha. Good detail. Okay, so that's one. So this is perfecto. Yeah, because I'm tired of being outside and like being the only one that's not in heels. You know what I mean? And I feel like the heels that I have, like the kitten heels and stuff that I have, are just very not that cute. But these more so. You know what I mean? Like I can still dress up with my man. I'm going to go out. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? This is what the next one is. I've been dying for a clear heel. So I got this. Yeah. I don't know if this one's going to fit. My sister might be lucky. That's all I'm gonna show you guys for today. If anything more interesting happens, I'll come back. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Hey guys, it's your favorite this girl Zoisha and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Saturday, November. Yes, it's November. November the 6th, and I am about to head into my cousin's baby shower. I found out on Thanksgiving that my cousin is having a baby. Yeah. So today is her baby shower. So that is what I'm doing today. So I'm taking you guys along with me. I'll capture whatever it is that I can capture. I don't know. I feel like I hope I don't say this in vain, but I just feel like her boyfriend's gonna propose. Like, you know, I just feel it in the atmosphere. And I feel like anytime I go to a baby shower, like these things usually happen. So I don't know. I just feel it in my spirit. You know what I'm saying? She lost her mom a couple of years ago and I know she's probably wishing like her mom and stuff was here to you know be a part of this journey and stuff like that but hopefully we make her feel really really good today because i know she hasn't really she's not really fussy about this whole baby thing or anything like that she's just like i'm not doing our own i'm not doing anything extra i'm just like girl she doesn't even know what the hell the sex of the baby is like it was the hardest thing to find a gift but what i got her is not what i initially what i actually want to get her but I'll have to wait until she knows the sex or until we know the sex of the baby. But I'm super excited. I love it. Like so many of my cousins are having babies or either getting married. Like so there's just so many new cousin additions, whether by in-law or, you know, minis. So super excited. We're growing and I love that. So yeah, really excited to see how the shower looks, everything that's going to transpire and all of that stuff. So as I said, I will take you guys along with me. Literally just got here and finished writing up her card. So I'm about to go and head inside. And yeah, I had to park across the street because yeah, but my battery's going to die. So I'll see you guys on the inside. Okay, bye. Belly. No, you have to tie your laces because girls can't bend to tie their laces.
your shoelaces, so you have to try to do it. Now you gotta know how You're I'm pregnant. Gonna... You're supposed to feel. Yes. With this belly in front of you? Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna know. Okay. It's not your belly belly, you know. How many it's an actual you belly. For them today? They gonna learn today. <laughs> oh, dude, this is hilarious. <laughs> hey, Alex. <laughs> shower like six or something that's when it finished anyways so yeah we pretty much stayed till the end it was a really really good day um aside from like everything else that transpired today but i'll get into that in a second but yeah it's it was a it was a really good day i love family time like anybody who knows me just knows like i just love getting together like with my family or my friends and just like having a good vibe like i'm all for that like absolutely for that fun family friends food that is me and a good vibe like that in itself is a vibe so love linking up with my cousins i love my cousins and i have a million <laughs> but like the ones that are here that like you know loved loved it so so super happy we were able to get together i got to see my cousin that i haven't seen since like last year before we all went to jamaica for christmas and his girlfriend is pregnant she's due next month so i'm having another little baby cousin and then my baby my cousin that i went to her baby shower today she's due the 29th of december so we got two december babies coming so yeah and i need to get my nails done you guys this nail this nail you see right here is literally like there's no like <laughs> it's there, it's not like the my nail is not on my bed like my nail is not on my nail bed like it's off like it's fully completely off i'm just gonna take my nails off give my nails a break maybe for like a month or so and then put like a fresh set on but i don't know for some reason i feel like once i start like once one nail starts acting up like the whole set starts acting up so this one started lifting yesterday i had um two orders that i had to do and it was just bothering me. I'm like, no, 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 no. Cut that shit off. Now, this one 
is lifting and it is killing me i'm about to cut this one off too so i'm about to go visit my nail lady hopefully tomorrow soak these bad boys off because i'm really scared to try to attempt to take this one off myself normally when i'm removing my nails i don't go to the nail store to remove them but the way this one has come off of my nail bed i feel like i need to go and actually let her take it off and do whatever she needs to do to my nail to make sure this grows back looking like a human nail you know so yeah anyways so now that we got the festivity part out of the way you guys i was up working until three o'clock this morning right because as I said, I had a huge order that I had to complete. And then I had a last minute order that I needed to do. And like my machine wasn't working properly. My um, printer wasn't working properly because my internet was acting up. And I used Wi-Fi to connect my printer. One bag of things. It just was one of those nights. And I was scrolling on my phone trying to find stuff like to watch and stuff like that. Like I've been watching, um, what is it called? I've been watching what is it what is it called hold on let me find it fatal attraction on YouTube if you guys know fatal if you guys watch ID you guys will know fatal attraction but I've been watching the episodes on YouTube and also um for my man Woo! never knew about that one before but yeah been watching those a lot on YouTube so I was watching that while I was working but then one episode finished and I was like, I want to watch something else to bring up my, to bring up my mood. Went on there and I don't know if it's because of what I've been watching. Like everything has been about murders and murder mysteries and all of that kind of stuff. I seen the news about, um, and Klein <clears throat> for my Jamaican fo followers. I'm pretty sure you guys know Nikki and Klein. I was scrolling and I seen, um, that his or the live like somebody had recorded and posted the live on youtube of him talking about his mom being kidnapped and i was just like whoa and i was like him addressing people were commenting and saying that um it was a prank or whatever and i'm just like these people can't be people that watch them religiously because i honestly really like them so i watch them like i'm subscribed i watch their channel i watch every single video that they post i'm a huge nikki and klein fan like literally I, i'm not really into the pranks but just them on a whole like i just like i just like i just like the vibe that i that i get from that channel so um <coughs> <coughs> right away I could tell that it was not a prank. Like, if anybody knows, like, you you would know. Klein doesn't joke around when it comes to his mom. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a territory that he he plays with. You know what I mean? Um. So, I was just like, this cannot be happening. Because so much has been going on in Jamaica lately. If you guys know, you guys know. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't have the mental capacity to really sit <clears throat> and talk about negative things because I don't know but I'm just in a place right now where like the slightest thing like really just triggers me like you see like I'm about to cry like and I just I'm just in a in a really emotional phase in my life like I'm I'm going through a lot internally with myself because there's just the zoe that i know that i'm aspiring to be or get not get back to but aspiring to be and i just have a lot of hurdles and battles and stuff that are in my way and that i'm trying to fight through and whatever and you know so <clears throat> the slightest thing like throws me off like right now and i'm just trying to work on that to get to where i need to get so that i don't let certain things you know bother me but watching it and i was just like i can't believe everything that is going on in jamaica jamaica the place that i love so much anyways anyways so that was that watch the video seeing that he said his mom was taken away i guess she was at home with her spouse and 
they knocked him out or whatever the case may be because they're older not old old but well i don't know how old the, the the husband was or the common law spouse was at this time i don't know um and but i believe she was 54 because i just read an article and it said that she was 54 years old um and i say was because of the outcome of the situation which i still cannot believe that they did this man's mom like that Like, I still cannot believe that they did this man's mom like that. If you guys don't know what happened, I don't I just don't feel like I want to talk about it. Like, there's so many people who covered the story, so I'm pretty sure by now everybody knows what happened. Because I know this video is going to go up way after the time. But my condolences to Klein... Simon, Twy, Vinch, the grandchildren, everybody who's affiliated with the family, my condolences go out to you guys, honestly, because this is a very, very sad situation. And for us being in, you know, this Jamaica group, we all produce Jamaican content, I can honestly say I very, very, very very much felt the loss i don't know you guys personally like i don't know them personally or anything but man that could have been anybody's mom that could have been my mom the last time my mom went to jamaica my mom got robbed you get what me i say like her outcome could have been different That could have been that could have been any one of that didn't even necessarily have to be a mom. That could have been any one of us. And everyone that we live somewhere. Everyone that we have a door we can't kick off. You get what me I say? Anyone that we <sighs> guys. I don't know, talking about it again, like, every time somebody messaged me, they're just like, yo, they killed her for true, and I'm just like, bruh, I wish I didn't even put, but I feel like Instagram is just, like, my journal, like, I feel like I can just write anything, and, like, just, you know, be vulnerable, and just say whatever the hell it is that's on my mind that I have to say, but, Yo, man, I don't know, bro. Sad uh, Jamaica need to do better, man. <sighs> People, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like it's just been on my mind all day, you guys. Because as I said, three o'clock. Right before I'm gonna finish up, adapt me see. Right? I'm gonna see if I'm a YouTube, I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna watch the, the, the live. I'm gonna say, yo, I'm gonna see Nikki Abal. I'm gonna see Klein up plead for them leaving mother. Let's leave her one place. Is it me? I get up six o'clock. Because me did have to get up and finish the order them. If you deliver them. One of them did have to deliver by 10. The other one did have to deliver by 11. And me did have to go to go, go out and store for when them open. For come finish one of them. Right? So me did have to wake up early. That means people me get less than 3 hours sleep. You know, me coming about drop asleep 3 o'clock, you know. Me they had toss and turn, toss and turn, toss and turn, toss and turn. Yeah? Cool. Get up six o'clock. I them can barely open, but goody entrepreneur have to do the works. Yeah. Get up. Me not see nothing more. I say all right. Me look on them Instagram. Me think 
them just did have them old story nothing nothing new did add nothing new did add everybody still did have them profile and everything everything did up whatever whatever i think i when <sighs> hard time I think I went to the store and came back. I think I went to the store and came back. I don't think I knew before I went to to, to the store. I think when I, when I went to the store and came back. I go up on YouTube again. And it come up in my recommended. Came up in my recommended that Klein's mom was found dead. People. Meds mash up. Like the boy pleaded for his mom. And I can only imagine how he felt being in, like you're in the same country, but just, and because of curfew. Why, I mean, I don't know, did the COVID stop me, huh? Anyways, people. <sighs> Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I'm about to find something. I was supposed to start editing, but I'm too lazy to go and look for my other memory card. So I'm just going to wake up early in the morning, edit Sunday's video. <clears throat> Might just have to go up later. Oh, shooks. It's going to actually have to go up on Monday because it's going to take a while for it to upload. But anyways, I'll explain. <laughs> um, going to wake up in the morning time, edit. And then I have to go with my cousin on the road because um, he needs to go and look for a suit for his wedding. Mm -hmm. One of my cousins and I get married. Uh, so he wants me to go and follow him to go and look for that. So I'm going to go on the road with him tomorrow. Look for his suit. I'll take you guys along with me for that. And um, yeah, we'll see what else we'll get into. Got to cook as well because it's Sunday. So I got to make my meal my lunch for the week and yeah yeah people my love and all you guys stay safe and yeah see you tomorrow good morning Good morning, everybody, and happy Daylight Savings Day. Happy first day at Daylight Savings. Yeah. Anyways, it is now. Y'all, I feel like it took forever to reach this time. It's 11.45. I feel like it took forever to reach this time. But anyways, here we are. Sunday morning, as I told you guys yesterday, I am going to take my cousin on the road to go look for his suit for his uh, wedding. So I'm heading out right now to go and pick him up. And all of that good stuff. Yeah. All of that good stuff. Concentration. He doesn't live far from me, so I should be by him in like three minutes, two minutes, five minutes. Ooh, light bright. Your father told that to work. There we go. So yeah, I should be by him in like a few minutes or so. Um, and yeah, so I'll probably pick up when I reach the store. But what I wanted to say before I forget, and before he comes in the car and I can't talk no more, I was planning, I think week before last, I was planning to have something with like my cousins and stuff like at the house for my cousin, the one that's getting married. Cause he's like literally one of my favorite cousins ever. And it's a male. So, um, love him, like, absolutely love him. Anytime I need to use the car, he's always there. He was my gym partner. And just, like, from we met, like, I don't know, there was just something about him, like, I always, like, you know, I wanted to, like, link up or whatever. There was a few, like, maybe a few years or so, like, we fell off or whatever. But I'm super happy that, like, you know, we're back to where we initially were. And yeah, like I love my cousin Darren, love him, absolutely love him. Like out of a lot of us, like the cousin group, like he's literally the only, like one of the only ones who's always there for everybody, like always there for everybody. So love that. 
he supports you no matter what any event you have he's there and you know what i mean love darren need him for anything call upon him he's there whatever and a really good dude so super happy to i just wanted to help out in any way that i can so i'm going to be making his like wedding favors so that he can take them down with him um their toasting glasses and like anything else that he needs help with that i can assist with i'm going to do that for him so taking him to go suit shopping i do not mind you know but i was saying i want to throw him something like a groom shower or something so i was secretly planning that for him but it was so funny because yesterday at the baby shower he was just like zoe He's like my favorite cousin. He's like, you can't throw me a bachelor party. I'm like, a bachelor party. I'm like, that's for your your um your your best man to do. He's like, but that's you. He's like, you are my best man. I'm like, I'm not coming to the wedding. You know? So I was like trying to throw it off of the fact that he wants one and I'm already in the midst of or planning one for him. I'm just like, oh my god, he's gonna love it. So I was just telling everybody while he was around yesterday that I'm wanna have like a cousin family game night type thing so at least everybody now knows the date and um yeah i just have to go into a theme and getting all of that kind of stuff together so really excited about that um yeah so when i reach my destination i will come back to you guys and talk to you guys a little bit more then okay until then to the loose so guys we made it to the store for suits this is my OOT of the day. My little bootleg Balenciagas from the Sirens. These pants are from Blue Notes. <laughs> Shut up. Sure, I don't know. Got it from my sister Buckside. It's slim fit, that's why. And I like the pink. <laughs> I like the pink. <laughs> Too tight. Yeah. So. Don't look like we're gonna be finding anything here. So I have to go somewhere else. I see, I don't know. I thought this was gonna be like a one stop. You know? Slim fit as well. Mm -hmm. I'm ready, people. I'm gonna say in the shirt. I don't know who it's from. Jacket. Blue note. Um, and yeah, bag. Can't recall, but yeah, this is me today. <sighs> oh, you're getting married. All right, we have to go somewhere else. Oh, or do you know anywhere else? You wanna go? Alright, let me go. Thank you, sir. It's yeah, I think because it's a slim. I think if it was loose, it might have fitted him a little bit better. Okay, no worries. Probably. I'm gonna check. Do you know where there's another one? I know. I have never been there, but I have heard from it that there's a Morris Moore something on this thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, perfect. Thank you. I didn't even think of that. There is a Morris. Okay. So, I'm gonna go another place. I know they have an international at or I mean, Vaughn Mills. I just don't know if that one carries suits. I don't know, but I'm gonna Google -goo it. Google -goo -goo it and see and then there's a moors here so before we leave here check the moors and see and then yeah we'll see because we're t minus 20 days away and that's not including the traveling time <laughs> so no that's including the traveling time so we need to get it like we have like let's say like 12 days yeah yeah so yeah Huh? Oh. So, yeah. Uh, if I have change, you can buy one hot dog. I'm going to fill it down here so I know by street means. Oh, but I forgot to have to keep it in the store anyway, so. After, after, after. When next 
Look at me, I lift, lift, lift. Anyways, on to the next. Okay. All right, guys. So I think we found a jacket. Mhm. Mm yeah, no. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> so now, just to get it taken in, like you know, pin up, make it fit him good. You know them way there. Yeah. Right. True. What are you doing with your hair? What are you doing with your hair? Oh. You're gonna braid it from up here? No. When you reach down. Okay. So yeah, now just to get his pants. You have shoes and everything already? Of course. Even the easy thing, man. That's the last thing. I wanna see the shoes. I need I to approve. Shoes. I need to approve of the shoes. Yeah. Oh, God. Anyways, guys, so yeah, take a picture of your wife here. Yeah. What? So happy that I have cousins in my family, so I know how men really stay in real life. <laughs> so I know exactly how they stay in real life. So no man can trick me. But they're on too much man for know how man really stay in our real life. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. It was a what? Oh. Oh. What? How does that work? Don't worry. It works. It's so the first thing you have to do is honest. Once you're honest, everything will fall in line. So she knows? Yeah. People, later. We'll catch you now later on, okay? Bye. <laughs>